Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. This is part three to our Top Fuel RC Drag Boat build series. The first part, I walked you guys through hardware and electronics, what I was using. The second part, we installed the motor mount, the motors, flex cable, stuffing tube, struts, rudder, and the ESC mounting tray. Okay, today we're going to be working on the battery tray. We're going to basically make a battery tray out of carbon fiber. All right, I'll show you guys how I got it all marked out. Uh, a servo mount, which will accommodate a small and or a large servo. I ordered the wrong servo. Uh, we're going to be running the servo rod, the servo linkage, basically getting that all fixed up. I doubt we'll get to ESC, you know, and, and water cooling today. We'll probably do that in the next one. So uh, stick around, you guys. Part three of the Top Fuel RC Drag Boat build series. So I've actually got the battery tray mocked up, okay? It's basically going to have slits here, here, and here. Uh, so the battery straps go through the slits and kind of hold the battery in place so it don't go flying. It's the last thing I want in a wooden boat with this much weight in it. Uh, I, I'm going to say all loaded out. The boat's going to weigh close to two and a half, three pounds. It's my guess. So um, I actually, you know, took the time to scrub this out, and then I've actually done the same thing on my carbon fiber right here. This is two millimeter thick carbon fiber from Offshore Electrics. I used that sticky putty that I used to uh, set up my struts. It's made for hanging hanging pictures, you know. I use that on my ruler so my ruler don't, well one, it don't scratch up the carbon fiber, and two, it kind of holds my ruler in place so it don't slide around. You know what I'm saying? So I can use my hobby knife to scribe it. Um, I use a paint marker. This is a liquid chrome paint marker. It works great for carbon fiber. It washes right off with uh, alcohol. Actually, before I cut it with my Dremel, I'm going to take my drill and this little hand drill right here with the biggest bit I can fit in it. I'm going to get my a hole started and then drill it out with my drill. I'm going to drill it at the end of each cut so basically put a hole here 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 and here all the way around that'll give me a little leeway for error you know with my cutting wheel and it'll kind of let me know where to stop so it looks clean when i'm done all right I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this I've got a set up right here I got that sticky putty under my ruler to hold it in place and I've got these two clamps to hold the ruler in place so it don't like drift I'm using this little cutoff wheel right here diamond diamond cutoff wheel and um, basically gonna cut it all the way across so probably make four cuts you know marks I made all the precautions I made not to go past my line I went past it on this side so I, I, I tried to match it up on this side you know what I mean so I, I started off with a file then I worked it to this uh, sanding board here and now I'm using this one uh, the wider the sanding board the the straighter you can get your slits you see what I'm saying so I got my battery tray and um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I want to put it in the boat, basically epoxy it in the boat. And I got two choices. You know, I can, uh, I can basically dr drill a couple of epoxy dam holes where each bulkhead's going to be. And, um, you know, like countersink the top hole so I can basically like pour epoxy 
in those holes to help lock it in the boat because if you just if you just epoxy it you know with like epoxy here 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 and here it, it may hold but you stand a chance of it of it breaking loose in a crash you know that side to side jar or whatnot so um i got it you know i'm also considering uh counter sinking the mount you know like uh notching these bulkheads right here which there's not a whole lot of bulkhead to notch i sanded a lot of it down so um so i think i'm going to go that route i got it marked out right here and um i got this piece of wood sitting in here and i've kind of measured to see how how deep it would be if i if i use that wood kind of as my my sanding uh stop you know I'll, I'll sand it or i'll use like my dremel with this wheel and, and use that as my my reference for the depth you know so i think i'm going to go that route i really was kind of afraid of um of going this route because it may weaken up my bulkheads but but um i'll have that basically that much bulkhead left you know i'll have I'll have um, basically five millimeters of bulkhead left in the boat, and and I'm 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 replacing the wood with carbon fiber. You see what I'm saying? So I'm actually really glad I did this. Okay, it's actually working out pretty good. Okay, I've got it level. I guess you guys can't really see, but I got it level with my bulkheads. Okay, I got it pretty nice little notch on all three of them okay got it my battery a little bit lower I have plenty of room to get my strap under there I basically use that Dremel bit that you guys seen I use this custom sander you know to uh, to get it roughed up and then I cut the, the ends of it you know with my razor knife lightly cut it pulled that little piece off so it goes straight down and um yeah so we're gonna epoxy that in and uh, while we have the epoxy out, we need to epoxy this little fellow right here in. So that right there is basically a straight shot. Like right. Like right there. Okay. So. So that's actually going to be good. It gives me enough room to work on my collets, to grease the boat. A nice straight shot to my rudder. Yeah, that's gonna work. So yeah, let's do it. Let's freaking do it. It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity. It's mind over everything. Alright, so I got a little micro easy connector on my uh, servo arm. Okay. DX5 rugged with a little dynamite 90. I've already got it bonded and a 2200 milliamp battery. Make sure it's centered. All right, I couldn't run my easy connector on that bottom screw hole right there because it would hit the the um, the servo, the servo itself. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna push it through my bellow. Hadn't epoxied it in yet. I'm just kind of dry fitting everything. Okay. I've got it kind of, I kind of cut it to size. Hopefully I didn't cut it too short. That's my freaking look today. Okay, that's my freaking look. So I got that on. I guess I could use this and put like a little bend in my my steering rod. You know, I guess I could do that. Well, I'm going to have to put a bend in it anyway. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hook this up to my servo easy connector and this little ds servo might actually work this is the first time i've turned it on and um i was putting my finger on it trying to uh just kind of see how much power it has and it's actually got some torque i mean the box the box says it's got 1.2 kilograms of torque 16 ounce inches of torque which is not a lot of torque at all you know did i cut this too short Oh, it looks like it's going to be perfect. Right. 
also it's actually doing the same thing with this too see how how it's bottoming out on the side of that bellow through hole so I'm actually gonna put a little bend in it here let's see if this works oh that's good that's pretty good oh it's actually got some torque All right, so I'm going to push down on the back of the boat here because the rudder is actually touching the table. I'm going to put some pressure on the boat. Oh, it's got some torque, man. I'm putting a lot of pressure on this thing. It might work, you guys. Hell yeah. Update time. Okay, I got my, holes, my epoxy dam holes drilled for the servo mount. I used 60 grit to rough up. The mounting surface, I also used 60 grit on my battery tray, and I actually drilled holes where it's going to be epoxied onto the bulkheads. Okay, I didn't go all the way through. That's just going to kind of give the epoxy somewhere to go, and uh, hopefully help lock it in the boat. Okay, like I said, it's a thinking man's game. You got to think ahead, okay? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this put back on the servo rod and uh, probably use batteries to hold this down and um, probably use a battery to hold that down too. You better quit it. Jeez. Hopefully I got you guys a good view. I got quite a bit of Bob Smith mixed up here. This is 30 minute slow cure. I've been using this stuff. I like it. I actually like it. And um, I'm going to go ahead and mix up a few carbon fiber hairs here for my motor mount. Not a whole lot. Just, uh, just something to kind of beef it up a little bit so it's not just epoxy, you know. I think, I mean, epoxy's great, but I think it's overrated with its freaking, like, strength. And uh, it, it really does need something in it. You know what I'm saying? It really does. Whether it's freaking micro balloons or carbon fiber, fiberglass, it definitely needs something in there to, um, to strengthen it up, you know. So uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and get this little guy right here epoxied in. You know, in the forward part, that's what's going to hold the front of my mount up. I'm going to go kind of generous on the mount, on this little mount, and I'm going to put some in the boat right here. Hopefully, you guys can see what I'm doing. If not, oh well, I'm sorry. Deal with it. <laughs> Making a friggin' mess. going like a lot of surface area that's going to help hold it on I know it's adding weight but I would rather add a few extra grams of freaking epoxy to hold a battery tray in than uh, my batteries flying out my battery tray flying off the block you know um, I don't have any way to like jam foam on top of my battery so I'm strictly relying on my battery straps to hold this thing and my battery tray to hold this thing in you know this is a wooden boat man a freaking 4s 5000 battery or two 4s 2200 batteries come flying loose <laughs> Oh, I've had a bad day, boy. All of this is basically going to be hidden under the battery tray. So, I mean, it don't really have to be perfect. I'm going to try to make it perfect. But, you know, it's going to be hidden. So I got it applied to my, my, my tray and 
the boat okay increasing the surface area surface contact for a good ironclad freaking adhesion okay I'm gonna get some alcohol ready so I can clean up my mount should do it that should do it all right i'm gonna set a couple batteries on there like four four batteries on here That looks good, you guys. Reese, I'm glad I recessed it because it actually looks really, really good. It lowered my CG. No side-to-side -side movement and a carbon fiber epoxy. It's going to keep the battery tray in the boat. I went ahead and uh, did the carbon fiber epoxy on my servo. She's ironclad. I actually made a boo-boo when I installed that servo. I thought I gave my, myself enough room to get this flex driver in there. And um, I was just shy a couple millimeters. And so what I did is I actually took a cooling line, put it on my a bit, and basically used it the same fashion. And um, I got it as far as I could. I actually used my pliers. This cooling line helped me hold the bit in place. I used my pliers on the bit to tighten it up. And I, I couldn't get it all the way tight, so I had to actually modify one of my jeweler's screwdrivers. I heated it up okay bent it so i could actually get get some turns on it and um i got her tight all right hopefully hopefully it works because i don't want to have to pull that damn thing out <laughs> okay so um actually actually if i have to pull it out i think i can cut i can actually cut this bit in half maybe just cut it like right there and I should be able to get this flex driver in there which is what i was going to do so that might help you guys out with with you know something on your boat the dynamite 60 i got my dx5 rugged on let's get it plugged in i gotta uh let the servo center itself first once the servo center will hook up the the linkage all right so i got my my steering zeroed out and let's go ahead and turn it on okay she's zeroed out now we can uh make sure our rudder's centered Okay, make sure that's dead nut center. And let's tighten up this little grub screw here. Uh, I think I just mentioned that I hadn't Loctite in anything. I need to go through Loctite all my screws be before my, my maiden run. I'm going to do a maiden while it's primed. Probably get to it this week, you guys. That's what I'm aiming for. Probably to, It'll probably be a weekend, you know, but we're going to try to get to it this week. Okay, so uh, let's 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 see. Oh gosh, I hadn't even epoxy. I need to epoxy my through hole. I hadn't epoxied this in. I'm just gonna put a little bit of epoxy in. Get that in there. So let's see how. It... Okay, so it's not hitting on the bellow through hole in a in a full throw. Okay, and if it was, if it was hitting the bellow in a full throw. We could basically take this steering linkage and kind of, kind of bend it, bend it out, you know, and that will actually center a little bit better in our through hole there, and it won't, it won't bottom out. Okay, so I actually have two hands today, so let's, let's see how much power this thing's got. It's actually got quite a bit of torque. I mean, it's not much, but for a little servo. It's actually not bad I can st I'm stopping it but I'm actually having to stop it quite a you know put some pressure on it to stop it but I think it's gonna do good in a straight yeah, yeah. it's actually quick too man and 
Damn, boy, she's wanting to take off already. You see the boat moving, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I won't let you guys go, okay? I'm tickled to freaking death, man. I, I think it's coming out great. I, I, you know, I, I want to just say thank you to all my subscribers, all the feedback, all the info, the tips you guys, the support you guys have given me has really given me the, like the, the oomph to keep building the boat to get the boat finished up. Hopefully we get a maiden in this weekend. That's what I'm shooting for. Uh, whether or not it happens is a different story. The next video, we're going to solder up the, the connectors and make a, a harness to run a single battery in the boat and um basically go through the parameters get the the escs binded up with the receiver hooked up to the motors and then the following video we're going to run all the water cooling and button everything up loctite everything finalize seal and uh yeah so appreciate you guys watching part three to build series you guys are awesome we'll see you guys next time big b with that clad rc Top Fuel RC Drag Boat, the greatest show on the freaking water, huh? <laughs>